So, good everybody. I am uh, Luca Galli and uh, I'm a PhD student from uh, Politecnico di Milano and uh, I'm here to present uh, a work uh, that I've done uh, about uh, achievement system and uh, achievement. So, first of all, Okay, so how many of you know about uh, what an achievement uh, is, an achievement system is? Raise your hand. So just chewing the wall hole, okay. So uh, fact is that uh, achievement uh, is uh, really important in a motivation system because uh, it's, uh, first of all, an achievement is a set of tasks that uh, a game designer has uh, uh, defined in order to make uh, uh, an application, an entertainment uh, system engaging for its user. So uh, a game design will uh, uh, define uh, tasks for players uh, in an entertainment system in order to guide their behavior within the entertainment system. Uh, the definition of uh, achievement is a bit different uh, of uh, the definition of badges because uh, badges are particular artifacts that are given to a player once uh, he has uh, fulfilled uh, the tasks that are uh, defined uh, within uh, an achievement. So uh, if, you are, if you know about uh, things like uh, achievements, badges, trophies, they are not the same thing. An achievement uh, is uh, the task that has to be fulfilled uh, and the badge is uh, the reward for the player. An achievement system is an integrated system that uh, can be used uh, to uh, op present uh, achievements to player, manage them, uh, store them, and uh, uh, track all the information about uh, all the, activi the activities that uh, has been done by a player within a system. And uh, the last two definition for, uh, for you, player score, player is uh, uh, the score is a numerical value that represents uh, all uh, the task that has been done uh, by a player. I mean, it's a numerical value and it's different from an achievement system because uh, an achievement because uh, if we consider an achievement, uh, an achievement uh, is used uh, just to track uh, uh, the task that uh, a specific task that a player has done while uh, a score is a measure that can be used to aggregate all uh, the tasks that has been uh, done uh, by a player. And a, leader a leaderboard is just a way to show in an ordered way uh, which player has performed better. Uh, turning uh, to the previous presentation, we have seen that uh, Foursquare has presented uh, nowadays uh, badges and uh, achievements for players, but uh, I think that uh, the concept of uh, achievement uh, is even older. If we think about uh, ancient Rome, uh, warriors were uh, rewarded with uh, med medals with uh, the face of uh, Kaiser if they were performing well uh, during war. Even uh, nowadays, uh, there are uh, uh, scouts, boy scouts, that are rewarded with uh, special badges uh, based uh, on uh, uh, the competences that they have uh, in uh, sports, uh, science, uh, crafting, uh, and nowadays, of course, we have platforms uh, such as uh, uh, Foursquare that are uh, rewarding players with uh, virtual badges. So, uh, in order to understand why we need the achievement system, we have to track back to the first uh, motivational system that has been uh, introduced uh, in the past. If uh, we think about uh, pinballs, okay, uh, pinballs vendors such as uh, William Manufacturing Company that was uh, one of the first company uh, producing pinballs uh, had uh, this problem of uh, making uh, players uh, play more, okay. Players were not just engaged uh, by playing uh, without any feedback from the system and so they introduced uh, a tracking point system in order to uh, make uh, the other players compete each other and see which one was the best one. This was uh, a mechanical 
a, a first uh, example of a mechanical leaderboard, the uh, following steps were uh, adopted by uh, Midway with uh, their game uh, Sea Wolf uh, and then uh, with the uh, Space Invaders. Uh, sea Wolf is uh, the first game in which uh, the term high score uh, has been introduced, uh, and uh, unfortunately, at the time, uh, uh, the systems were not able to keep uh, track of uh, the scores of uh, all the matches, and they were just keeping track uh, of the current score, and they were uh, rewarding players with the playing time. For what concerns uh, achievements? The most important example that we have in the past uh, is uh, related to Atari 2600. Uh, with this system, uh, Atari was uh, uh, providing uh, for each game, in the manual of uh, each game, uh, a list of uh, tasks okay, to be fulfilled in order to get uh, special rewards such as uh, badges. These were uh, physical badges. The player uh, were asked uh, to make a photo of their current score on, on, on a monitor and send uh, the photo back to Atari and they will uh, provide uh, the players with uh, these uh, high valuable badges. Why badges and why it's important to see that uh, they were uh, physical badges? Because badges are something that uh, uh, you should wear. Okay, you should be proud of having uh, this kind of patch. You should uh, sew it uh, on your uh, on your clothes uh, and be proud of showing it uh, to other players. Uh, the following steps uh, before uh, the actual uh, systems that we have right now, it's uh, a game called uh, Emotion from Amiga. It, this was the first uh, game uh, that uh, introduced uh, the term achievement. There were uh, secrets uh, uh, rewards for the game uh, for uh, fulfilling uh, specific tasks such as uh, completing a level without uh, rotating uh, to the right uh, or uh, completely failing certain levels. And now we come uh, to recent days. This is the most important part uh, of uh, all the achievement uh, system history because uh, uh, the first uh, real achievement system was introduced by Microsoft in 2005 with uh, their Xbox Live uh, system. And uh, at first Microsoft uh, was uh, not so uh, sure about uh, the effectiveness of their system. They would just say, uh, oh, okay, we have also this kind of system that can track uh, uh, your progression into games, uh, but uh, well, was not uh, specifically uh, mentioned as a key uh, as a key point uh, to sell their console. While uh, in the following uh, years, uh, player were just so compelled and uh, en engaged uh, by playing uh, uh, games uh, on the Xbox Live system that. Uh, uh, the Xbox Live uh, system with uh, their is achievement uh, became uh, uh, a game in itself. Players were just uh, um, competing each other to gain points and gain achievements uh, in order to get on the top of the leaderboard. For this reason, uh, several other competitors created their own achievement system, such as uh, uh, Steam uh, that introduced the uh, uh, achievements in their uh, uh, Steam uh, uh, digital delivery platform. And then uh, we had uh, Sony with PS PS3 trophies uh, in their uh, PS3 network. And uh, also Blizzard in 2008 uh, introduced the uh, achievements in their uh, Battle.net platform. Uh, was a bit late if you consider that uh, Microsoft introduced uh, this system in 2005. And uh, at least uh, in 2010, Apple anno announced uh, their uh, entertainment platform for digital devices called uh, Game Center. But OK, it's nice to have all this story, but uh, uh, what is the purpose of uh, achievements? Why, why we should care about achievement? Why people are engaged about uh, achievement? It's just the fact that uh, uh, achievements allow other players to recognize uh, what uh, a player has uh, done in a game, how it has performed, 
and uh, it provides uh, lasting rewards. It's just uh, uh, a sort of diary with uh, the past history of uh, all the games you have played, all the tasks you have fulfilled, and this uh, leads to a sense of uh, affirmation of uh, fictional status for uh, the player that has uh, obtained these uh, achievements. So uh, there is also another point to be considered that uh, even, even without uh, the engagement for the players, achievement system are really important for companies because uh, uh, by uh, saving all this kind of data for uh, the players, we are able to understand uh, the genre, the preferred uh, genre for uh, a specific kind of player, uh, which kind of uh, tasks or uh, game mechanics they prefer. And so uh, by collecting all these stats, we are able to uh, improve uh, future games uh, just by looking at uh, the past history of uh, all the games that have been played. So let's look at uh, the main components of uh, an achievement. Uh, on the bottom of the screen, you can see uh, a typical achievement uh, in the Xbox Live system, and uh, it's composed by uh, a title. A title is uh, uh, an identifier for the achievement, a unique uh, identifier, but it can be used also to hint the player about uh, the task that has to be performed. Then uh, uh, we have uh, an icon. An icon is really important uh, in, uh, in an achievement system because it's the representation of uh, a badge, okay? When uh, you uh, are able to fulfill uh, the uh, achievements goal, the usually the icon of uh, the achievement will turn from uh, gray, which means uh, locked, to a colored version that means uh, unlocked. Uh, moreover, we have a description of the achievement, of the achievement uh, and uh, the description uh, is able to uh, put uh, the player in uh, a narrative context in order to uh, make uh, the achievement uh, suitable to a specific kind of, of game, and mm, the description is also used uh, to describe the, the task that has to be performed by the player. And uh, at last, uh, there is a, a numeric value, which is uh, a point value. A point value is used uh, to uh, describe the level of uh, difficulty of a uh, specific ach achievement uh, with respect to other achievements in order to uh, let the player choose uh, uh, which achievement uh, to do first, uh, which are the most difficult ones, uh, and uh, things like that. An achievement uh, uh, cannot work uh, without uh, uh, an ECA element. Uh, ECA stands for uh, Event, Condition, and uh, Action. Uh, the event uh, is uh, uh, the series of uh, events in the game uh, or uh, uh, gameplay that has been uh, triggered during the game in order to uh, uh, see if uh, the condition of uh, the achievement has been uh, fulfilled or not. The condition is the set of uh, tasks that has uh, to be fulfilled in order to uh, receive uh, the reward. And the reward uh, is, uh, of course, uh, the, con uh, the, the action, which is uh, the unlocking of the achievement. Uh, an achievement system has uh, a, an important feature, which is uh, the player dossier. The player dossier is uh, able to uh, store all the information regarding uh, a player, uh, it's important because uh, it's uh, uh, a sort of a page that can be used uh, uh, to show specific uh, interests for the players to all the other players. And uh, we can see that uh, we can have uh, an avatar, uh, a rating for the player, the number of points uh, he has uh, obtained within the system, and uh, uh, if we go into more detail for each game, we can even uh, see all the uh, badges uh, he has obtained. So uh, this is used uh, for uh, friends and uh, other players to check uh, what has been uh, done uh, by the specific player that uh, has been considered. So uh, we, we said that uh, achievements uh, are uh, 
created by a game designer to uh, guide the player in order to make them uh, uh, fulfill certain tasks, okay? We made uh, uh, a research about uh, this, uh, this problem and uh, uh, we analyzed a uh, uh, certain number of games uh, for uh, six different platforms. We chose the, the um, uh, iconic games uh, for, uh, for each platform uh, in order to see if uh, there were uh, differences or uh, uh, common features uh, that were shared uh, among uh, uh, different games. Uh, and uh, from uh, the table you can see that uh, uh, a lot of games share uh, a, a lot of platforms and uh, consoles share the same uh, kind of achievement based uh, on uh, the task uh, that has to be proposed uh, to the player. So let's look through all the categories that have uh, been found. Uh, the first one is uh, instructor achievements. Instructor are uh, used uh, for uh, one main purpose, which is onboarding for the player. Uh, the, the task that has uh, to be fulfilled by the player uh, uh, within uh, an instructor achievement are actions that uh, need to be mastered in order to proceed uh, with the gaming experience. So a new player will just uh, look through the list of achievement uh, and uh, uh, will see uh, instructor achievement that will uh, tell them how to play the game and uh, moreover uh, this will uh, allow also uh, the game designer uh, to guide the player and make them uh, immediately entertained because they, okay, great, you were able to uh, accomplish something in the game. You got uh, a badge, okay, so you are doing uh, the, right, the right thing. For example, this, uh, this achievement is for a game called uh, Viva Pignata, made by Rare. And uh, within this game, uh, a player uh, is asked uh, to uh, take care uh, of a garden full of uh, strange animals. And uh, animals are attracted uh, just with uh, strange plants that can be planted uh, with within, uh, within the field. So one of uh, the most important game mechanic uh, in this kind of game is to grow plants. And so if a player is able to grow five plants to maturity, uh, the system will uh, reward him uh, with uh, the specific badge. Quests are uh, the most common uh, uh, achievement that can be found uh, within a game. They are used based uh, to track uh, the progression of a player within a game. Uh, they are uh, given, given out uh, when uh, completing a signific significant task or uh, uh, when uh, a player is able to reach uh, a milestone within a game, uh, such as uh, finishing a level or uh, any other important event. Uh, they are used uh, to maintain uh, the level of engagement uh, high during uh, uh, the whole duration of uh, the gameplay session. Uh, an example is uh, uh, given by this quest uh, in uh, the in a game called uh, Skyrim uh, is a fantasy game uh, by Bethesda Software, and uh, within this game, uh, uh, the player avatar can be uh, um, put uh, into prison. Okay, if the player is able to get out of uh, prison, he will be rewarded with uh, a special achievement. This will just be given uh, one time. Okay, it's not uh, uh, an achievement that. Uh, can be uh, given out uh, several times uh, and uh, usually quests uh, are uh, one-time achievements. We have content discovery achievements and these are used uh, to introduce uh, the player uh, to graphical user interface or uh, to add uh, replay value for the game. Uh, in, for example, just uh, they are given out for uh, trying uh, all that the game has to offer, and they require uh, maybe players to play in a specific mode uh, or uh, try trying out uh, different feature of the game. For example, this is uh, a stupid achievement, and it's probably the easiest uh, achievement ever. It's for the game, uh, the Simpson game. 
it's a funny game, so as long as uh, you press uh, the start button to start the game, you will be rewarded with uh, this achievement. Then we have a socializer. You are designing a socializer to in increase uh, uh, the longevity of your game and uh, in order to uh, reward uh, the interaction uh, between players uh, and uh, uh, make them uh, contribute to your system. If you want uh, a player to submit uh, uh, special content uh, like uh, images, photos, or a play of, uh, of a match, uh, then uh, you should uh, reward them uh, with uh, this kind of achievement, uh, a socializer, in order to, to make them uh, uh, contribute uh, to your game. There are uh, issues in this kind of uh, achievements that will be explained later, but uh, for now, uh, just look through the example. This, this example is for uh, NBA Live uh, uh, 2007. Uh, the game developer chose uh, to uh, introduce uh, this kind of achievement uh, uh, that uh, was given out uh, when uh, players were playing uh, at the same uh, time uh, in which uh, other uh, mm, at least uh, 1000 of uh, other players were playing uh, online at the same time it was a great idea when uh, the game was uh, launched because uh, a lot of players were uh, connected uh, into into the system at the same time playing together but we will see that uh, this may cause problems later on. Secret chest. These are uh, optional achievements in the sense that uh, they can uh, be used uh, to prolong uh, the longevity uh, of a game and uh, to provide a surprise effect uh, for uh, the players. They are given out for uh, finding uh, special, item, special items, uh, areas, uh, and uh, for completing a collection of items uh, within a game. Uh, they are used uh, to encourage players to explore uh, every possible facet of, uh, of the game, uh, and uh, they are used uh, for actions that are not meaningful for the progression of uh, the game itself. Uh, these are useful also to uh, let uh, the player uh, uh, talk with each other about uh, secret areas, uh, secret stuff, uh, how, how you were able to get this uh, uh, secret skull uh, in uh, Halo 3. Uh, so the at, at, the, at uh, the beginning when the game was released, uh, was released uh, the position of uh, this skull was unknown and so all the players were uh, just uh, uh, chatting around uh, and writing on forums about uh, any possible location uh, places to in which uh, this kind of skulls uh, could uh, have been found uh, and so on then we have uh, grinders which are uh, the most dangerous kind of uh, achievement i would say they are used uh, just as fillers, okay? If you have uh, no idea on how to entertain a player, you could just say, okay, we will make uh, an achievement in which uh, uh, you have to perform uh, the same task a uh, certain amount of time, uh, for example, like uh, collecting, uh, I don't know, 10,000 coins uh, or uh, doing action uh, with uh, little or no variance. Uh, this kind of achievement uh, uh, are dangerous because uh, they should be given out uh, just for action that are uh, done uh, in any case by the player within the game. If uh, uh, a game designer is creating a specific game mechanic in order to make use of uh, uh, grinders, okay, then uh, uh, it's not a good design choice because uh, it will create uh, an alienating experience for the player something that uh, he has to repeat uh, again and again just in or just to uh, be able to get uh, uh, the related badge uh, without any fun for the player for uh, the really committed player there are uh, uh, specific tasks that uh, are uh, called the uh, Herculean task. Uh, 
this kind of uh, achievements are uh, uh, designed uh, based uh, on uh, uh, really difficult actions that can be performed uh, within the game and uh, are used uh, to uh, reward uh, difficult, non-repetitive tasks that uh, uh, require uh, a great mastery from uh, the player in order to uh, be able to obtain them. So just uh, skilled players will be able to, to get this kind of achievement. This is probably the hardest uh, achievement uh, that uh, has ever done. Uh, and uh, it's for a game uh, called uh, Dead Rising from Capcom. This kind of achievement requires uh, the player to play for uh, 14 hours in a row without uh, the possibility to save the game, to stop the game, and uh, yeah, surviving for uh, 14 hours from uh, an horde of zombies that are trying to hit your brain. So just think about it. Oh, okay. And just to speed up. Uh, we have trophies that uh, are used uh, to, uh, th they are designed uh, just uh, for uh, uh, action that can be performed uh, on in uh, online games uh, and will be uh, given out just for a few exceptional uh, players uh, that are uh, able to fulfill a specific task uh, such as uh, being on the top of uh, uh, an online leaderboard uh, and being uh, the best player uh, in, uh, in a round for a specific event uh, or, or a competition. Then we have uh, red marks uh, that are uh, given out uh, for uh, bets action for bad action uh, within the game uh, f if a player performs uh, poorly or uh, commit a negative action then uh, it can be I, I wouldn't say a reward but uh, it can be marked with this kind of achievement and then we have uh, loyalties achievement that are given out for a player that are really committed uh, to a brand okay this is uh, mostly for games uh, made by Blizzard Entertainment, such as uh, World of Warcraft and Diablo 3. They are given out for players uh, that are uh, participating to uh, special events uh, or are buying a special uh, collector's edition of, uh, of a game. So uh, these are... Uh, uh design guidelines that you should follow when uh, you try to design an achievement. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, you need to consider that uh, uh, the players will try to, to get all the possible achievements within a game, so, uh, and they will try to do it uh, by using any means possible. So if uh, an achievement can be gathered uh, easily just by performing a, a boring action, just don't do it, because the player will do that way in order to get uh, the achievement uh, as soon as possible. Uh, no secret achievement. Achievements are used uh, to guide the player and uh, to make them uh, do some kind of action. Uh, well. And yeah. These are uh, the bad design practices and good design practices uh, that can be used uh, within achievement system. Uh, we don't have uh, that much time, and uh, this is mostly technical stuff. It's a uh, gaming architecture that can be used uh, to develop your own achievement system. Uh, if you are a programmer or uh, a game designer, you may find it interesting and that's it. We are developing this kind of uh, motivational system because we are working for uh, a European project uh, in which we are uh, creating games uh, to make uh, players fulfill uh, certain tasks okay, just by playing a game. For example, uh, we need to segment uh, an image uh, and uh, automatic machine learning uh, algorithms are not able to do it. So we will just uh, give out uh, a game with a purpose to player in order to segment the game. And well, thank you for your attention.